Right. Back in the book segment tonight, did you see that? An attorney who represents the family of the dead terror killers in California said this on Friday. One of the things I can tell you guys I had discussed with the family about the housewife is that they're very traditional in the sense when the family would go over to the house, they wouldn't all be together in the room. The brothers did not actually ever see her face. They've never seen her face because she did wear a burqa. Now, after that statement, there was an outrageous reaction from Al Jazeera. You're now to tell us about it, Fox News anchor Martha McCallum. So what happened? So a producer for Al Jazeera tweeted this. Come on, ABC. The family attorney says, hashtag Tashfeen Malik wore a burqa that covered her face, and you're putting out pictures of her without it. He was horrified. He was horrified that a dead that the terrorist dead terrorist, woman. That it was disrespectful to her. To she her. clearly showed no, not a shred of respect. And for who the is this producer? Did you track him down? He's been as there. This guy? His name is Hasim Saeed. He's been there for about ten years yeah. um, as a producer. He is being quote reprimanded within the uh, organization. Does he live in, They're not happy does he live with in America or he lives overseas? In America. Yep. He lives in America. Right, he's been working there for some time. All right. Now that's why he apologized. I'll just we should point out um, right. and said that he was misunderstood. He yeah sure. He they was. was talking about the family. Sure. Who was. also may be implicated in this potentially. Right. So they we'll could see. be arrested as well as accessories. Now this is why Al Jazeera has zero viewers in the United States. No one watches it. Okay. University of Tennessee, Knoxville. I was there last yeah. year. Yeah, we did a show, a Boulder Fresh show. Um, they have a holiday be uh, careful how you manifesto. Say this. <laughs> a manifesto they have. What is their holiday manifesto, McCallum? So thank you to the Office of Diversity and Inclusiveness, which uh, gets $5.5 million from the taxpayers in Tennessee. So they have to, you know, sub, they have to basically legitimize their job and their yeah. website. So here's what they said. They said please make sure that your holiday season party is not just you know a, a cover for what's actually a you know what it is it's a christmas party but they don't say christmas don't say christmas no. there are no dreidels nothing that's cultural no religious reference no should santa non-denominational cards no I'm secret done. santas you can have sort of a you know prank thing or um secret little gifts so that if you are each if other. you're a student on on a university of uh, tennessee knoxville campus and you want to have a little party for your friends with a Merry Christmas theme. The Office of Diversity is going to do what? Expel you? No, but this is a suggested guideline. Suggested. And I think it was mostly aimed towards the employees of the whole larger University of Tennessee System. educational system yeah. um, that they should be very careful about this. You know, the, the Office of Inclusiveness and Diversity, as yeah. I said, um, got an uproar from taxpayers and from Republican uh, Congressmen in the state, but not who Democrats, are calling for the head of the president of this university. The people no, that, who are that's an overreaction. Republicans. But I, I mean, what a good job to be uh, head of the Office of Inclusion oh, and Diversity. Fantastic, I mean, gee, really good job. Several you know? people working in that office, and they're you know what? We better put out our missive on the holiday party because we don't want any right. religion or Santa sneaking into well, that. Well, the party. factor's uh, Christmas party tonight, so all the people down at the University of Tennessee, if you get to New York in the next couple of hours, <laughs> uh, will be. Will there be mentions a Christmas of Christmas? Thing. Okay, now uh, you, Martha McCann. Have a yeah. uh, special I on do. Fox News Channel this weekend yeah. about what? So this is about the so-called rape crisis on college campuses. This is not to suggest that there are not assaults happening on our campuses, and that is um, a serious issue. However, we need to treat both sides of the equation fairly. This piece is an hour-long documentary. It is very well researched. We talked to three different boys who were subjects of these investigations, who were wrongly accused, mm -hmm. and whose lives were ruined. Absolutely. Uh, this is a process that's been ongoing by the administration. It came out in a Dear Colleague letter, basically shaking the finger at universities and saying, if you don't get serious about this and prove to us that you are by finding some of these people guilty of these offenses, um, you will risk losing so your federal there's funding. There's pressure on the colleges to find them guilty, not to find out what happened. When will the special run? It runs Saturday night at 8 o'clock, Sunday night at 8 o'clock, and it'll re air at 11 o'clock on both of those All evenings. All right. Martha McCallum, everybody, I'm going to check Thank that you, out. Factor tip of the day another Time Magazine Person of the Year controversy. The tip, moments away.